Professor Meng, Dr. Chin, Professor Leung, Dr. To, members of the College Council and the PrEP School Committee, distinguished guests, parents, alumni, teachers, and students. I feel most privileged to have you all here to witness and celebrate this important occasion today, our speech day. It is all the more special as we are celebrating the 120th anniversary of the, of the college and the 85th of the preparatory school. And it is indeed our honor to have Professor Meng with us today as our guest of honor. I'm sure that you will all join me in anticipation to listen to Professor Meng's address and to be inspired. But meanwhile, I'm happy to share with you college matters. The academic year 2022 to 23 was a fabulous and a memorable one, one which is like no others. This is evident from school documents, my observations and conversations with students. Teachers and staff members have worked to provide the most inviting environment for our students to engage in learning, in day-to-day -day lessons, competitions, services, and performances, both inside and outside the classrooms. The musical, Lost and Found, a legend of chime story, rounded up the last academic year. It paid tribute to Ms. Carol Yang, the immediately retired principal, and marked a beautiful milestone for St. Stephen's. I was in the audience. I am confident to say that St. Stephen's is setting the standard. Our teachers' efforts to train and to bond did impress all. The actual performance itself stole the hearts of audience. To inherit and to innovate, our actors, singers, live orchestra showcased multiple intelligences and talents. Now, on the academic side, students' performance last year has been commendable. In the DSE, Chen King Fun and Leung Lok Yu got the best results. Congratulations to our students and teachers. Adverse did pay off. King Fun is now doing medicine at the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Lok Yu is doing BA and law, double degree at Hong Kong U. For the IB Diploma Program, the average point achieved by the cohort last year was 37. This compares very favorably with a world average of 30.2 and higher than the Hong Kong average of 36.4, placing St. Stephen's in the top 10 highest scoring schools in the territory. Three students of ours actually scored 43 out of 45. They are Chloe Leung Chuk Chi, now doing social sciences at Peking University. Helene Huang Hei Ling, doing science at Hong Kong U. And Yu Yu Mok Yu Yu, doing biochemistry at the University of Toronto. For destinations of our graduates, over 90% of our graduates obtained a bachelor's degree offer from local or overseas universities and institutes. And among all the students who pursued a degree in Hong Kong, over 67% secured admission to Hong Kong U, CUHK, or Hong Kong UST. And for overseas destinations, the UK was the first choice for many students, followed by the US, Canada, and Australia. For both local and overseas education, Students' preferred majors include a range of rigorous programs, medicine, law, architecture, global business, economics, politics and international studies, astrophysics, anthropology, archaeology, food science and nutrition, veterinary sciences, aviation, statistics, urban planning, nursing, marine biology, economics and finance, surveying, sports science, psychology, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, arts, business management, communication, fine arts and design, humanities, education, computing, and engineering. I may not have much to contribute to the success of this class of 2023, but I'm equally proud 
Congratulations to our graduates. At St. Stephen's, boys and girls are guided to strive for academic excellence and well supported to pursue their passion and to perform. For those coming up to the stage in a minute to receive awards and prizes, our performers and helpers, and those applauding their fellow schoolmates and friends, they all share attributes of SSCers, good language ability and presentation skills, sound moral principles, global perspectives, open-mindedness, stamina, and a caring heart to lead and serve. Students' achievements would not have been possible without the concerted efforts of various parties involved. Students themselves, of course, teachers, parents, alumni, support staff, and administrative staff. To you all, I offer my heartfelt appreciation and gratitude. Success and achievements by our students in different areas are moments we all savor and cherish, some of which are absolutely worth mentioning on this very special occasion. For scholarships and awards, just to name a few, Lisa Chen Si Hui got the Hong Kong Scholarship for Excellent Scheme for her music achievement. Season Lam Si Sun got the South China Morning Post Student of the Year Award for Best Improvement. Claudia Chan Lian and Chen Ying Chok got the Hong Kong Outstanding Student Award from Youth Arc Foundation. Quite a few graduates of ours were awarded entrance scholarships by reputable universities overseas, among which Toby Leung Yi He got the Imperial College Alumni Association Hong Kong Centenary Scholarship. Congratulations. Our teachers have endeavored to ensure that education at St. Stephen's is quality, whole person education. And our students are well-rounded when they graduate. It is not only progress and success in academic results that count. Emphasis is also placed on quality development in students' personality, their sense of belonging, their outlook on life, and their eagerness to build their strengths to dream their dreams. Indeed, our new building, the Benevolence House, marks the beginning of a new era for SSC. This new expansion includes the Grand Hall in which we're all seated, the Black Box Theater, the outdoor auditorium, the gym room, student activity center, trophy room, 12 additional classrooms, new tartan tracks, and returfing of the football pitch, our big field. Such quality and above standard hardware offers great opportunities for us to dream big, to redesign and enhance our curriculum. The classrooms are now exclusively the homerooms of our DSE students. And since last academic year, and perhaps before that, the gym room, the big field and the black box theater have become photo spots for guests and visitors. I wish to add here to update you all that plans for enhanced learning has been unfolding itself in these arenas. Our passionate teachers, professional coaches, and creative students are doing intelligent discussions and design. The gym room, together with our new learning venues and facilities, for example, does encourage students to find their personal goal, identify the desired improvement targets, and go for focused training and development. Indeed, students at SSD have been enjoying learning, and all are learning to become. Our eye engineering program for the junior secondary, for instance, has been redesigned to incorporate elements of artificial intelligence, from programming to database management and data science, from ethics, cybersecurity, to engineering life cycle. Students used machine learning techniques to tackle real-world problems, learning to ideate solutions as engineers. And teachers have made commendable efforts to bond our old boys and old girls to share their passion and expertise with our students, building an SSCers community of learners to inherit and to innovate. A few weeks ago, I had a conversation with Jasmine, 
one of our S6 students and her mother. We considered possibilities and confirmed university program choices. What's so amazing about this is, in the process of doing such important decision making, the student was holding firm onto the pursuit of her dream, and that is to start university life after the exam without compromising her blooming music career. As we all know, to do both, one is ready to give 200% of oneself. Such commitment and such firm grip on the potential unlocked and the stage she has found for herself ever since her preparatory school years all the way to the college is not only the championship she was awarded by a commercial organization. You can imagine how consoled and how touched I was as the principal. She will be one among the many SSCers who will shine and soar. Here at St. Stephen's, it is always the people who have made this such a special, blessed place. We are particularly grateful for the global vision and caring leadership of our College Council and the SMC, the support given by our PTA and the parents, and last but not least, the Alumni Association and our alumni with the distinguished achievements spanning across generations and their generosity of time and talents coming back to the college as speakers and mentors, guiding and inspiring our students. Ladies and gentlemen, please take some time to read in this speech day booklet you have with you. It is in it all that we have recorded about the college's achievements and success in the academic field and in extracurricular activities in the last academic year. And bringing my report to a close, my renewed thanks to all those who have helped students' education at St. Stephen's College memorable and successful. No matter how small a contribution you might think it was, you gave with your heart, and it means the world to me, to St. Stephen's, and indeed, to our students. May our Lord's blessings be with you all. Thank you. <laughs>